Yeah. Everybody seems to think that you know my game is astronomy, but you know I'd have to say that it's it's more about people than it is about stars. And uh, you know they're certainly a wonderful tool for expanding ourselves outside of ourselves. Being under the stars has taught me many things, and being able to share those stars with other people, well, I've, I've noticed that they can learn from those stars too. My name is Greg Quick. I often get called Space Gandalf. Uh, I'm an astronomer, and I haven't always been an astronomer. Uh, along the way, I was a mechanic, I was a pearl diver, and you know, I guess I'm just one of these people that's naturally curious about everything. So being a pearl diver was actually my first astronomical step, living your life by the tides. And the tides, of course, are governed by the moon. So that tuning in, that spatial awareness, I guess, is something that I've always been able to do. It's also what made me a mechanic, understanding the, the interaction of things with each other. So in 1995, I put out some little flyers around town to see if anyone wanted to come stargazing. And within two weeks, I was out seven nights a week. Well, you, you won't hear theory from me on my tours. It isn't what I do. You know, right from the beginning of Astro Tours, I would have astrophysicists coming out. And you know, they'd sit through my presentation. At the end, they'd come up and they go, you know, I'm an astrophysicist, and you know, I've never thought about it like that before. It was a really powerful moment in my life when I realised that the Earth was turning. I was working in the Kimberley, sleeping out under the stars every night, and I got really quite excited about lying on my back on the curved surface of the Earth while it turned me through space. That's the moment it translated from being a piece of intellectual knowledge that I knew because somebody had told me about it to being a reality in my life. I guess what I what I'm presenting is what I would call intensely practical astronomy. And it's the seeing of that which seems to trigger these insights in people. Yeah, there's a whole series of common revelations that I see people go through. I want to talk about this planet. Here, yeah, this is east. And right at this moment, we're doing just under a thousand miles an hour. That one. Yeah, you can feel it, can't you? I was talking to someone the other day and I said to them that I, I live in Broome and they said that's got to be the, the place in Australia that's the least like Australia. And I thought that's a pretty good take on Broome. I mean Broome is, it's a different place. You know everything that happens here seems to be bigger. The tides are bigger, the colours are bigger, you know the, the barramundi are bigger. It's almost like people's hearts are bigger in Broome too. I guess in this world we have many distractions that keep us from following the thing that we should be following, which to me would be what's in our heart. You know, we have our mobile phones, which we, you know, we're kind of glued to. This stuff is poison. It's a real trap that will pull any of us in. You know, it tends to put us out of touch with the things that are really going on. So, you know, watching the movements that are going on around us all the time and becoming aware of them, for me, has let me know that all of these things are on track. You know, as much as we can feel out of sorts as humans, it's, it's almost like, you know, you, you are where you're supposed to be. And to settle into that and to allow that to be in your life, then perhaps it would become easier for us to realise what our next step is. And I guess I, that's what I've learned from the planets, is that they're all in the right place, so we must be too. So the best thing you can do is just take yourself out under the stars and look. You know, if you really want to, take a pair of binoculars and go exploring in the sky. And when I say exploring, you're going to find things in those binoculars. You're going to find star clusters, you're going to find nebula. And you don't have to know what they are to just appreciate their pure beauty. And that beauty that you come to appreciate, is a, there's a very good chance that it's going to rub off on you. Well, what I love most about what I do is uh, seeing the looks on people's faces. Seeing people's auras light up is just treasure. And they're going to carry that light because once it's sparked, you pretty much can't turn it off. 